hello, welcome to this week's level one class. We're going to build on last week's, so we're going to use the circle a good bit again this week. So I hope you're getting used to it. Again, if you don't have a circle, just get a big cushion or a pillow and we're going to squeeze it and set. So to get started, we'll come onto our hands and knees, we'll do our usual warm up. So hands below the shoulders, knees below the hips, drop the ribs down to the mat, lifting the head up. This time turn the head to the left, bring the left foot out to the side, have a look at the toes. Push the ribs up to the ceiling, left foot comes in, head rolls down to the mat. Right foot comes out, look at the right toes as you drop the ribs down. Lift the head up, looking up in front as the right foot comes back in. We're going to the opposite way. Turn the head to the right, right foot comes out to the side, push the ribs to the ceiling. Roll the head down to the mat, right foot comes in. Left foot comes out to the side, look around the left arm with the left toes. Drop the ribs back down, left foot comes in and locking up in front. Look down between the fingertips. Bring the hips to the right, hips and shoulders to the right, left leg back, and left arm up in front. Just get your balance, and then bring the arms and legs back down. Hips and shoulders to the left this time, right leg back, and then right arm up in front. Good, we're going to try little circles with that now, so hips and shoulders down to the right again. Left leg comes back behind the body. Left arm up in front and little circles with the heel in the hand. If you find this difficult, you can do the opposite arm and the opposite leg. Don't worry about bringing the same side, the same arm, the same leg up. Bring the arms and legs back down. Last one, hips and shoulders to the left, right leg back, right arm up in front and circles with the heel in the hand. Keeping the body as still as you can. Make those circles nice and wide, and bring the arms and legs back down. Knees are below the hips, hands are below the shoulders, point the elbows back towards the toes, lift the knees up off the mat, and we're going to lift the feet up and down. Good, keeping the body still, keep the shoulder blades pinched together, and tuck the chin in, make sure it's not sticking forward. So keep the chin tucked in. Looking straight down below the fingers, elbows are twisting back towards the toes. And then rest the knees back down. Good. We're going to try a plank. So we're going to bring the hands to the front of the mat. Elbows are tucked in again, shoulders are straight over the hands. Lift the knees up, imprint the spine, and walk the feet back to the end of the mat. Nice straight line from the shoulder to the hips, through the ankles to the knees. So don't have the hips up in the air and don't let them sink down. Nice straight line, shoulder blades pinched together, walk the knees forward, and then rest in. Good, turn over onto your back leg. <coughs> so, head resting on the block, imprint the spine. We're gonna use the circle if you have it, or your cushion. Hands pointing towards the ceiling, spine is imprinted. Gently squeeze the cushion, bring the legs to tabletop. Tap the toes off the mat one at a time, right, and then left, right, and then left. Good, nice soft taps. Perfect. Good, just keep the imprint. One last one, and then we're going to bring the feet down. For the next one we did this last week, as one leg goes down, we're going to bring the hands back. As we tap the other leg off the mat, we're going to bring the hands back up. So we'll start with the right leg tapping the mat, the hands will come back. As the left leg taps the mat, the hands will come forward. Imprint the spine, bring the legs to tabletop again, keeping the back imprinted. Tap the right toes off the mat, and then tap the left toes, hands come to the ceiling. Right toes to the mat, hands go behind the head. Left toes to the mat, hands to the ceiling. Right toes to the mat, hands go back. Left toes to the mat, hands come to the ceiling. Right toes go back. Left toes, hands come up. Right toes, hands go back. Left toes, hands come up. One last one. Right toes to the mat, hands come back. Left toes to the mat, hands reach to the ceiling. And then bring the feet down onto the mat. Have a look rest, it's a confusing one. We're trying to build in the, the upper abs, so make sure to bring the hands back, 
the ribs don't flare up. So you want to keep the rib cage down and the spine imprinted. So it's just making it a little bit harder, recruiting more muscles in our core at the same time. We're going to try it again. Hands towards the ceiling, but this time with two legs. Imprint the spine, it always gets harder. Bring the legs to tabletop. Two feet off the mat, just gently squeeze in a circle. Tap the two feet. Good. So again, imprint the spine. Focus on it. Gently squeeze in a circle of the cushion. So we're getting our upper body working. And we're really working our lower abs here. One more. And then bring the feet down onto the mat. Good. So we're recruiting the pecs. We're trying to keep the shoulder blades back. The pecs will bring the arms forward. They'll squeeze the hands together, but they'll also round the shoulders. So we're working on the lower traps and the pecs working together to keep the shoulder blades in a good posture while we move arms. Next one, we're going to have the hands to the ceiling, the double toe taps. We're going to bring the hands back as the legs touch the mat. And as the legs come back to the tabletop, the hands come back to the ceiling. So, circular cushion in the hands. Squeeze the circle, drop the shoulder blades back into the mat, but keep the elbows straight and locked out. Imprint the spine, legs to tabletop. Tap the two feet, hands come back. Hands to the ceiling, legs to tabletop. Tap the two feet, hands back behind the head. Back to tabletop, hands to the ceiling. Tap the toes, hands drop back. Back to tabletop, hands to the ceiling. Three more. Good. Keep those rib cages set. Two. And one last one. And then back up. And bring the feet down onto the mat. And have it for rest for a second. Circle or the cushion is between the thighs next. Imprint the spine. Rib cage comes down. Squeeze the circle and relax. Squeeze and relax. Keep the ribs down. Keep the abs imprinted. And just nice gentle moves. Make sure the legs move nice and smooth. As they come in, don't let them flutter on their way out. Nice smooth moves the whole time. Good. Two more. And the last one. Keep the cushion squeezed. Imprint the spine. Scoop the hips back. And then lower the hips back down. Remember, you're rounding the spine as you lift the hips up and then come back down. Roll the hips back, scooping the hips up and then come back down. Good. Three more. Keep the circle squeezed and down. Two more. Roll the hips back, lift them up and then back down. Keep the rib cage down, roll the hips. Last minute the ribs lift up off the mat, but the rib cage in front doesn't pop out. So you don't see the bones poking out. You keep the bones down nice and tight. Hips are up nice and high. Drop the knees to the side and squeeze. One, two. Rib cage stays down, hips stay up. Good. Keep squeezing the circle of the cushion. Seven, eight, nine. Last one, 10 hips are nice and high, ribs are down, and then roll the ribs and hips back down onto the mat. Grab the circle, give the legs a rest. For the next one, we're gonna bring the legs into tabletop. We're gonna do some with the legs at 90 degrees, squeezing the circle between the thighs, have the rest, and then we're gonna bring the circle between the ankles, and then we're gonna straighten the legs to the ceiling. So we have a few more to do with the circle. Imprint the spine again, bring the legs to tabletop. Remember, shins stay parallel for this one, so the shins stay perfectly parallel as we squeeze and relax. One, two, three, spine is imprinted. Four, knees are over the hips. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, ten. Grab the circle, bring the feet down and have it for rest. So we have two more to do with the circle between the legs. Imprint again, we'll give you a rest. We're going to come back to it in the hands later on. Bring the legs to tabletop. Circle between the ankles. Spine is imprinted, knees over the hips. Knees and hips 90 degrees. Squeeze and relax. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Bend the knees, grab the circle, and bring the feet down. One last one, then we get a break from it. Imprint the spine again. Legs to tabletop. Circle between the ankles, or cushion between the ankles. Knees are over the hips. Straighten the legs to the ceiling. 
Keep the spine in front of us and squeeze and relax. One, two, three, four. Nice smooth control movements. Five, six. The knee capture points straight, parallel to each other, or slightly apart. Nine, last one, ten. Bend the knees and bring the feet down and have them to rest. Lead the circle down to the side for now. We're going to come back to it in a few minutes. For the next one, we're going to bring the left knee into the chest, hug the knee in nice and tight, and we're going to lift the hips up. So we're going to do 10 bridges on the one leg. One. I'm not going to get a great extension. We're going to keep the knee as tight to the chest as you can. Two. If you let the knee drift away, you'll come a lot higher with the hips, but I don't want the knee coming too far from the body. Four. Five. This way we're isolating the glutes on the right. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine, one more, ten, and back down, and switch legs. Right knee into the chest, in as tight as you can. There should be a fist distance from your ribs to the knee. Hug that knee in as tight as you can. Lift and lower. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, one more, ten, and then rest back down. Good. We're going to come back to the circle. Another two with it, and then we're finished with it. Promise. Imprint the spine, legs to tabletop, circle between the hands, squeeze the circle, straighten the legs to the ceiling, and little kicks in opposite directions. One, two, three. Four, squeeze the circle, drop the shoulder blades back. Six, seven, keep that imprint. Nine, and ten. Bend the knees, bring the feet down, and have a rest. Next one, we're going to drop the two legs away, and we're going to bring the hands back behind the head at the same time. So again, this is certain to bring the shoulders into it, the pecs, the lower traps, but it's also bringing our brows in a lot more. So we're trying to maintain an imprint the whole time. Make sure as you bring the hands back, the rib cage doesn't pop up. So all the time, think about pulling the ribs down and in nice and tight. Imprint the spine. Hands reaching towards the ceiling. Legs to tabletop. Straighten the legs to the ceiling. Squeeze the circle. Drop the heels and hands back. And straight to the ceiling. Drop the heels, hands back. And straight. Two. Three. Keep the imprint. Four, five, make sure his hands don't pop as you bring, make sure your ribs don't pop as you bring the hands back. Seven, eight, keep the shoulders away from the ears. Nine, one last one. Ten, bend the knees, bring the feet down, and I promise we're finished with that now. Next one we're going to do, we're going to straighten the legs down onto the mat, we're going to do some rolls. So the body is straight on the mat, hands come back behind the head, we're going to fling the arms forward and roll up into sitting. So throw the arms forward, up nice and tall, chest comes forward at the top, and then roll back down. One. If you want to make this harder, reach up to the ceiling. Two. If you want to be nice to yourself, reach out in front. Three. If you want to be even nicer to yourself, start sitting up and come back about halfway and back up. And back and back up. So whichever one of those three variations you want to do, you can make it a little bit easier or a little bit harder, depending on how you feel. Good. Three more. Up nice and tall, shoulder blades are back. Last two. Good, chest up nice and tall at the end, straighten the back as much as you can. Make sure you don't tilt the head back like I am. Keep the chin tucked in. And one last one, arms forward, chest comes forward, chin is tucked in. So nice straight spine, and then roll back down. But this time really, 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 really slow. Take five, six, seven seconds to come back down, nice and softly onto the mat. Bend the knees for the next one. We're going to imprint the spine. We're going to have the two legs to the tabletop. And we're going to have the two hands to the side of the head. 
Spine is imprinted, legs to tabletop, tuck the chin in, chin to the chest, elbows into the knees, straighten the legs, elbows apart. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Bend the knees, rest the head, and bring the feet down onto the mat. For the next few, we're going to start to work the hip flexors a little bit. So we're going to do it with the legs straight, I uh, sorry, the hips straight, and then we're going to do it with the hips at a 45 degree angle. So, 90 degree angle, sorry. Imprint the spine. Bring the right leg to tabletop, lift the hips up nice and high, straighten the right leg again, and we're going to do 10 pulses. One, two, three, four, five, six. Keep the hips nice and high. Nine, ten. Right leg to tabletop and rest the hips there. Switch legs. Left leg comes to tabletop. Lift the hips up nice and high. Keep a straight line from the knee to the hip to the shoulders. Straighten the left leg away from the body and ten pulses. One, two. Keep that left hip up. Make sure it doesn't sink down. Keep extending through the right hip. Seven, eight. 9, 10. Bend the knee into tabletop, rest the hips down, and bring the feet down. Straighten the legs down onto the mat again, hands back behind the head, one roll up into sitting, up nice and tall. And then what I want to do, bring the hands back either side of the mat, bend the knees, heels are on the mat, knees and hips, ankles all at 90 degrees, pinch the shoulder blades back, as close as you can, bring the shoulders to 90 degrees as well. Coming back. And extend the right leg, lower the heel halfway, and 10 lifts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Bend the right knee, straighten the left, we're going to go for 10 again. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Bend the knees. So there, we started working the iliac Now we're going to try and work our rectus femoris a little bit more. So pinch the shoulder blades back. Lift the heels up off the mat if you can. If not, keep them down. Keep the knees in line with each other. We're going to extend the right knee and bend. So if you can keep the heels up off the mat, go first. If you want to have the heels down, leave them down on the mat. Make sure as you extend the knee, you don't let it drop down. So keep the knee up nice and high in line with the left knee, whether the heels are hovering or whether they're not. Two, one last one, back down. Keep those shoulders back as well. Keep pushing that chest forward as far away from the mat behind you as you can. We're going to extend the left knee. One, two, three. Trying to have those elbows extended as well. Four. Five, six, keep that left knee nice and high. Again, heels are hovering if you want them. Two more, last one, and then rest the legs down. So we have one more to do for the hip flexors here. This time we're going to build a little bit of control into them. So what we want to do is we want to extend the right leg, lower the heel halfway, and we're going to draw circles with that right heel. So we're going to draw five going clockwise, and to make it harder, lift the left foot up, and we're going to switch directions and go five going anti-clockwise. Good. If you have that left foot up, keep the heel and the knee as still as you can. And last one, and then switch legs. So we're going to extend the left heel, lower left knee, lower the heel halfway down to the mat. Little circles. We're going for five going clockwise, and again, if you want to make it harder, lift the right foot up, keep the knee, keep the ankle still. And then change directions. Push the ribs forward so the back is straight. And then bend the knees and rest the heels down. Good. Next, we're going to turn over onto our stomach. We've worked the hip flexors there. And as we've been having our weight going through our hands here, we've started to work the lower traps in the back. So we're going to focus on them a little more for the next set. We're going to turn over onto our stomach. So you can move the head block out of the way, or you can keep it there. Have the two hands on top one under and rest the forehead onto the back of the hands. Pinch the shoulder blades back and down. 
tuck the hips underneath the body, so we're imprinting the spine, and lift the head and shoulders up, and back down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, two more, ten, sorry, one more. <laughs> Next thing we're going to do, we're going to put a little bit more work onto the traps, into the lower traps, by extending our arms out in front. Now, while we do this, the shoulders will creep up towards the ears. Make sure you pull the shoulders back. So, start by reaching the hands all the way along the mat, crawling as far away from your head as you can. And then, keep the elbows straight, and pull the shoulders back. So, the elbows should be aligned with the top of your head. Keep the chin tucked in, we're going to lift the hands then the head, then the chest up, and the lower back down. Make sure you keep squeezing those shoulder blades together and pulling them away from the ears, but keep the elbows straight. It's a really confusing one to do. Lift the hands, then the head, then the chest, and back down. Three, four, five, six. If you're finding this difficult, bring the hands in wider. Seven, eight, nine, 10, and then rest back down. And reach the arms in front, they feel a lot heavier, so it's harder for our traps to pull the shoulders away from the ears. So they want to creep up bit by bit by bit through that exercise. We want to keep them away from the ears as much as we can. For the next one, bring the hands by the side. You can turn the head to the side, or rest the forehead on the mat. Keep the shoulders away from the chest. So pull the shoulders back and away from the ears. So reach the hands down towards the toes. Crawl them down along the mat if you can. Lift the hands up, twist the thumbs out, lift the chest up, and back down. One, two, three, four. Keep the hands as close together behind your back as you can. Six, seven, eight, and make sure you're twisting the thumbs out and up. Nine, one last one. 10, and back down, and rest in there. Now, we'll turn up to our side and do some work for the glutes and the obliques. So we're gonna start down on the side. We're gonna do two on our side. I'm gonna give you an option for the third one. If the shoulders are sore, we'll keep you down the side. If you're doing well, we'll give you that option to do. So we're gonna reach back line up at the back of the mat, feet sweeping forward towards the front of the mat, push the top heel away from the body, and we're gonna lift the top leg up and down for 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Keep the leg up into small circles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, keep the hips still. 10, change directions. 10, nine, make sure the pelvis doesn't roll back and forward. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one, and rest the legs down. Now, for the third one, we're gonna come up onto the elbow if you can. We're gonna lift the ribs up, straight line. Knees are bent if you wanna make it easier. You can straighten legs if you really want to be making it a lot harder for yourself. I'm going to start with the knees bent to show you. Elbow directly below the shoulder. Nice straight line from the shoulder through the hips to the knees. We're going to lift the hips up. Top leg up parallel to the floor. And cycle forward. One. Two. If the shoulder is sore, keep yourself down on the side. And cycle forward. Good. So whichever one you want. If you're up on the elbow, pull the shoulders away from the ears. Keep that shin parallel to the floor as you're cycling. And then change directions. Same, if you're lying down, go backwards. Three, four, five. Pull the shoulder blades together. Hips and ribs up nice and high off the mat. Two, last one. And then rest down. And back onto your side. We'll bring the hand down in front of the body now to give a little bit of stability. We're gonna lift the top leg up one foot into the air. We're gonna lift the bottom leg up to touch it. One, two, three. Keep that top leg where it is. Four, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, ten. Rest the legs there. So we're working the adductors on the inside of the thigh, the same ones we worked with the circle. We're going to turn over onto the opposite side now. So again, back line up at the back of the mat, feet to the front of the mat, rest the head down for the first two, hand onto the top hip, we're going to push that top heel away, so the bony hip, at the bony point of the front of the hip there, moves away from our shoulders, we're going to lift the top leg from down for 10, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Keep the top leg up six inches off the bottom leg and circles. One, two, three. Make sure the pelvis here now isn't rolling back and forward. Usually as the leg comes forward, the pelvis pushes back. And as the leg comes back, the pelvis pushes forward. So keep it as still as you can here. Two more. A nice round circles. We'll change direction. Keep those circles nice and round. Try not to make them to squares or stars or any other jagged lines. Keep them as round as you possibly can. Keeping that pelvis still. Good. Two. Last one. And then rest the legs in. We're going to come back up onto the elbow if you can. Again, if the shoulder is sore or the knee or the hip or anything like that in this exercise, just lie down flat. I'm going to cycle forward and backwards. If you're coming up onto the elbow, the knees, the hips, to the shoulders are in a straight line. And we pinch the shoulder blades back, keeping the neck as long as we can and stopping the traps from stabilizing the shoulder and getting our lower traps working again. Lift the ribs up and then lift the hips up. Lift the top leg up so the shin is parallel to the floor and cycle forward. One, two, three, four, five. Keep the body in a straight line. Six, seven, make sure the hips don't sink back. Eight, nine, ten, and change directions. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Elbow should be directly below the shoulder. Four, three, two, one. And then rest the leg, rest the body down. Last one. Right hand, or top hand comes down onto the mat. Bottom hand is below your head, giving you neck some stability. Lift the top leg up one foot into the air. Lift the bottom leg up to touch it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, last one, ten. Rest the legs there softly onto the mat. Good. We'll come up with the sitting now. And we're going to stretch out the necks. So turn the head to the right, look down towards the right hip, right hand over the top of the head, and stretching the head down. Drop the left arm down by the side. Make sure the right shoulder is relaxed as well. And keep the ribs tucked in. So don't let the ribs pop forward as we're doing this. Keep the ribs tucked in, spine as straight as you can. So we're getting the left of scapula on this side. Good, and then we switch over towards the left, looking down towards the left hip, right hand by the side. Make sure you're not looking straight ahead, looking down towards that hip, and drop the right shoulder down. Make sure the left shoulder isn't scrunching up either, and just relaxing into the stretch. So, today we did a lot for the adductors, we did the core, we started bringing the upper abs and a shoulder placement into an awareness around the shoulders for today as well. We then started to work our hip flexors and we worked the lower traps quite a bit through those exercises. So lot through stabilizing when we're in our kind of boat pose sitting position, then when we actually focus by lifting the head and shoulders up, and then again at the end by stabilizing through that arm in the side plank position. So we worked a lot on the body today, total body workout, subtly through a load of exercises. Come back to the middle. We're gonna bring the right ear to the right shoulder. So this time we're looking straight forward. Right hand comes over the top of the head towards the left ear. And let's gently stretch down by the side again. Keep the two shoulders in. Make sure the shoulders are scrunching up to the ears. Drop them back. And keep the body as straight as you can. Stun at the body bend with the head. Keep the shoulders level left to right. Good. 
back to the middle and then to the opposite side. Left ear to the left shoulder. As you pull the left ear down, make sure the ribs don't push out to the right. Keep the rib cage up nice and tall and show it was level. It's the benefit of having the camera look back at you. You can see your image in it. You'll have to do it in front of the mirror. Good. And then come back to the middle. We'll finish with that for the level one class. See you next week. Bye bye.